Hi guys, now it's time to introduce the entire game written with the help of the console game library and well I didn't actually write this game from scratch this time I I've done this uh, for about a couple of days ago and this is the Sokoban game but I've modified some key parts of the source in order to make use of a console game library written in C that I've also made not very long time ago. So here I include the only header file called game.h and then uh, here goes the source code of the Sokoban game which is already covered in the separate video and I'll put the link uh, in the description below th below it uh, where you would be able to find uh, actually the video describe the algorithms involved in the Sokoban game itself and in this uh, particular video I would like to emphasize the application of the console game library so the first thing we have to do is to initialize our screen and the last thing to do is to actually restore settings back and please remember that this is a cross-platform library and uh, that's very important f because uh, it lets you write uh, one single piece of code like in here and then run it bo both on Windows or on Linux well, I personally consider this to be pretty nice. And uh, uh, what has changed since the original version that uh, this print map function uh, prints actually prints the map, and this is also covered in the one of the previous videos uh, in this playlist, where I was uh, writing a simple test driver program to demonstrate the basic abilities of the. Uh, console game library uh, and also from the previous video you could have remembered this uh, move character uh, functions uh, that respond to the key pre press of the uh, re reference re reference reference in the particular key press here. Uh, and all this code is actually uh, just absolutely the same uh, as it was in the original version so not really much has changed but still uh, something okay and now I'd like actually to demonstrate how it works so first let's uh, run the Linux version and here we have a game of soccer band so I'm pressing the up key collision detection so character is not moving any further if I go to the place where the box is about to be placed in future and then step back that this little axe is restored so everything is works correctly and if the box is placed to its home then uh, the B symbol uh, turns into O symbol and everything works just perfectly well here so this is the Linux implementation or version or runtime okay and here I win and please note again that this uh, message is printed uh, at the coordinates that's another uh, kind of feature of this library and now I'd like to demonstrate you absolutely the same but uh, using the line command prompt well the line is the uh, emulator uh, that is available on Linux in order to run some uh, Windows programs and here I also run the soccer ban here and hit the enter and absolutely the same so absolutely the same game well at least here <laughs> it looks like the same and I'm doing the same steps oh just probably lost here <laughs> okay well, uh, yeah, it's not really to be. <laughs> I'm not really to win this position anymore. For yeah, the, yeah, that's the soccer ban. Yes, so <laughs> this last little box is not ever to be placed to its place. But never mind, basically. Well, so just exit from here. Okay, guys. So uh, this was the complete example on usage of the console game library, and uh, I really wonder if you find this. 
library useful for yourself so please leave the commentaries below the video if you have tried to code something uh, with this uh, piece of software or if you have some issues on compiling or understanding some pieces of uh, places uh, of code uh, that it consists of etc well this is it for this video so have a good time